BATMEC welcomes you to our instructional video series. This instructional video is for the 2005 to 2012 Lexus GS450H hybrid battery pack for module replacement and repair. You can also use this video as a guide to replace single modules with BATMEC replacement modules. This video is intended for highly trained individuals who understand the risks of working with high voltage. Risk includes loss of property or life. Repair at your own risk. To streamline this series, this video begins after the removal of your battery from the vehicle. Here's a look at the tools we use to make this type of repair. Here's a look at our suggested personal protective equipment, or PPE. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. We recommend using high voltage gloves to protect you and then putting leather gloves over the high voltage gloves to protect the gloves. There are times during the disassembly where there is more risk of exposure to high voltage. So please be careful and wear your gloves when in doubt of your safety. We recommend placing the battery case on a non-conductive work surface. Let's get started. You'll begin by loosening the fan vent duct and then removing any nuts or screws that attach the top metal cover to the battery pack. Once all the hardware is removed, go ahead and remove the metal case. Next, you'll remove the black plastic wiring harness covers. Then remove the wiring harness nuts that hold the wiring harness to the battery terminals. Once the nuts are removed, you'll remove the wiring harness from the battery module terminals. Repeat these last three steps on the opposite side of the battery. Note, if you use a screwdriver to assist in removing the wiring harness, you should be aware if you touch any two terminals at the same time you will experience a spark. Now that the wiring harnesses are separated from the battery pack, go ahead and remove the vent tubes, along with the end cap cover from the top of the battery modules. Be careful not to rip this tubing as you'll reattach it later. After the vent tubes are removed, you'll flip over the battery case. This may require help to do so safely. After you've safely flipped the battery over, you'll remove the metal brackets and metal cover as shown here. Your goal now is to remove any nuts or bolts that hold these battery components to the bottom of the battery case. Once the components are detached, slide the components away from the bottom of the metal case. Next, you'll remove the screws that attach the bottom metal case to the battery modules. Once the screws are removed, we can now remove the bottom metal case from the battery. Now that the battery modules are exposed, you can remove the temperature sensor wires. After removing the temperature sensor wires, you're able to set aside the case and components and stand up the battery pack. Once the pack is stood up, make sure these metal tabs are at the bottom of the stack. Finally, go ahead and remove the bookend. Then proceed by removing all the old battery modules from the compression block. Now that the battery is completely disassembled, you can prepare to reassemble the battery. Carefully unpack your BATMEC boxes. Everything you need to rebuild your battery, including new bus bars and nuts, will be sent to you. 
your BATMEC batteries are individually tested to assess leaks, capacity, voltage, and internal resistance. The highest and lowest capacities are arranged in ways to optimize the pack's performance and to optimize the differences in block voltage throughout the pack. Each pack is load tested at the same time, but BATMEC monitors the voltage of each individual module when testing. Packs are tested under a high current load. This is also a great time to remind you to save your boxes you received from BATMEC. These make great core return boxes for shipping your old modules. Back to BATMEC. Once you have removed your BATMEC modules from the box, locate your original compression block. Before loading your new modules in the compression block, make sure these tabs are at the bottom of the stack. Then go ahead and insert your BATMEC modules into the compression block. Be sure that the numbers are loaded sequentially, from number 40 at the bottom to number 1 at the top. Here's a good example of how the modules should look. Notice the numbers are all sequential and all on the same side. The numbering is from number one at the top down to number 40 at the bottom. Notice the metal tabs at the bottom of the stack and the numbers to the left side. On the reverse side, modules should rotate from non-vent to vent. If you have two positives next to each other, you have the modules out of order. The same is true if you have two vents on top of each other. If your numbering is out of order, you have the modules out of order. Notice at the top to the right and left sides. The numbers are out of order, and some are even turned upside down. Pay close attention not to make these mistakes. First, another thing to keep in mind is that the modules should be flush when stacked on top of each other. This is achieved by making sure these interlocking tabs on the modules line up to where they connect with another module. If your modules are staggered, this is because your modules are not stacked properly. Now that that is complete, attach the plastic bookend to the compression block posts to hold the batteries together. Before doing so, make sure the batteries are interlocking and not misaligned. If the modules are misaligned and the compression block is tightened, the modules will be damaged at the misalignment and the battery module will fail immediately or in the near future. Now, you'll lay the battery pack down flat with the number side face up. Now that the battery is laying flat on your non-conductive surface, go ahead and reattach the temperature sensor wires. Then put the metal bottom case cover back on. Once the cover is in place, use your BATMEC provided screws to attach the bottom metal cover to the battery modules. Next, you'll reattach the conglomeration of components we removed earlier. Be sure to reattach the metal brackets you took off as well. Once the components are reattached and properly secured, go ahead and flip the battery case over. The next step you'll want to take is to replace all your old corroded bus bars. BATMEC has supplied new bus bars with your battery pack purchase. The bus bars are located within the orange wiring harnesses. This step is critical to ensure that the battery will work at peak performance and to ensure the battery won't fail now or in the near future due to corrosion on the bus bars. Be sure to take extra precaution not to break a terminal when removing or replacing bus bars. If you happen to break a terminal, never fear. Batmech.com sells replacement wiring harnesses for this model battery. After you've finished replacing the old bus bars with the new bus bars supplied by Batmech, 
you'll do the same replacement on the opposite side of the battery. This is a good time to remind you to save the old bus bars to return them to Batmech, along with your old modules to avoid voiding your warranty. The rest of the reassembly of the battery pack will re-energize the battery. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. Before attaching the wire harness, be sure your torque settings on your torque wrench are set to about 55 inch-pounds. If you don't follow these torque settings, you are likely to damage the terminals on the modules and will void your warranty. Never use max drill settings and never use an impact wrench. Next, you'll reattach the orange wiring harness and new bus bars using the new nuts supplied by Batmech. But before you do, pay close attention. And make sure you have this main wire eyelet installed into the wiring harness before putting the new nuts on. As you can see, this wire can become dislodged very easily. You can proceed by attaching the new nuts supplied by Batmech to each terminal. Do this for both sides of the battery pack. Now's a good time to take a photograph of each side of the battery. These photographs can be used for review of assembly if you experience issues. This may save you from having to uninstall the entire battery later. Now that you have taken the pictures, you can now go ahead and reattach the black plastic wiring harness covers. Next, you'll reattach the vent tubes to the battery vents. Now, you'll reattach the metal case cover for the top of the battery case. And finally, you can now reattach the case cover to the rest of the battery. The battery is ready to be reinstalled into the vehicle. Here are a few pro tips. Be sure the service plug is secured properly, otherwise you will get error codes. You'll also want to clean your cabin filter every three months. Be sure to clean your cooling fan. Dirty cooling fans can cause the battery to overheat. This concludes our how to demonstration. Remember as a highly skilled mechanic with high voltage training to wear the appropriate personal protection equipment your shop requires. Stay safe and thank you for shopping on batmech.com.